Welcome to Filmora Pro, a new way to power up your storytelling. In this video, we'll be covering all the cool things you can do with something called the plane. A plane is a rectangular object that you can generate right in Filmora Pro that you can make any size or color, and you can do a ton of cool stuff with it. Today, we'll show you how you can create all kinds of shapes, backdrops, and how you can overlay effects and add black bars universally to your entire edit using them. If you want to skip ahead to a certain part, you can check the timestamps down in the description. You can create rectangle and square shapes right in Filmora Pro by clicking New Plane. Let's name this plane Rectangle and make it 800 by 600. And we'll set the color to white. When we click OK, we'll have a new plane on our media panel. The plane exists as its own clip that you can drag into the timeline and make as long or as short as you like, similar to how images work. From there, you can adjust the properties of the shape like scale, rotation, or position by either using these controls in the viewer panel or by adjusting these properties in the controls panel. We can also drop on a fill color or gradient from the effects panel onto our clip. Creating shapes that aren't strictly rectangles takes a couple more steps. Let's say we want to create a triangle. What we'll want to do first is create a square. Let's make this one 800 by 800 and call it Polygon. Let's drop it on our timeline and yep, we've got a square. To turn this into a triangle, we'll have to make use of the quad warp effect. Let's find quad warp in the effects panel under warp and drag it into our clip. Now we can move the corners of this square wherever we want. To create a triangle, we'll want to join two of the corners into one spot. Let's drag these two corners to the center. And then to double check that it's perfect, we can go to our coordinates on the top left and top right points and make sure that they're exactly the same. Uh, let's move this to 400 for both of them. There we go. To generate a circle or ring shape in Filmora Pro, you'll first need to create a square plane. Let's go to New Plane and create another 800 by 800 square. That said, we're going to call it Circle because that's what we're going to turn it into. Next, let's drag it onto our timeline. We'll go to our effects panel and under Warp, find Polar Warp. Let's drag that effect onto our plane and then dial the end radius down enough so that our circle sits within the frame of the plane. Now we have a circle. We can also turn this into a ring by increasing our start radius. Here's one last cool shape you can make with planes. If we go back to our triangle we created using quad warp, we can move the top left point to the left to turn it into more of a parallelogram shape. From there, if we drop the polar warp effect onto the clip, we get this twisty mess. Let's first decrease our end radius like before so that we see the full shape. Next, let's go down to our Warp X and set it to Tile. Finally, let's go down to our Range and decrease it to 30. We've now got this really cool pinwheel shape that we can recenter by going to Center and adjusting the X position. Finally, I can make it spin by going to our Polar Warp FX Rotation, creating a keyframe by clicking this circle beside Rotation, moving forward in the clip, and then adjusting the Rotation value to create a new keyframe. Let's take a look at that. This is just scratching the surface of all the cool shapes you can create from simple planes when you combine them with warp effects. Try to experiment to see what you can come up with. If you want to learn more about keyframes, make sure to check out our Animation 101 tutorial. Link in the description. Planes pair well with several different effects to create vibrant and dynamic backdrops. Creating backdrops with planes is pretty similar to creating shapes. The main difference is that this time when we click New Plane, we'll want to click Match Timeline so that our plane fills the frame. Our plane will function as a blank canvas that we can throw whatever we'd like on. Let's make a backdrop. One option is we could add a funky gradient to our backdrop by adding the color gradient effect and choosing from the large list of presets. 
For this example, let's choose a sunset effect because I really like this noisy gradient we get from it. I'll adjust the start and end of the gradient by moving these points to the top and bottom of the plane. There we go. If we want something a little more dynamic, we could add a radio waves effect. What this effect does is it generates these waves that travel outwards. Let's change our shape to square and slightly add some curvature to about 0.12-ish. Next, let's make this fill the screen by going down to motion and setting the expansion to 150, 145-ish. I want to see how this looks on top of our gradient, so let's go to the blend mode and set it to subtract. Next, let's bring the opacity down a bit around 0.43. Set the wave start to 1.5 seconds and increase the fade in to 50% and the fade out to 80%. Let's bring our start width up to 130. Yeah, that looks nice. This looks cool, but let's give it a bit of a twist. Let's go down to motion and slightly increase our spin to 9 degrees. Now we're talking. Let's add one more thing by dragging a light leaks effect onto our clip. Let's set our threshold to 25%, and let's bring down the chroma range down to zero to get rid of the green weirdness. Let's bring the brightness to 125. And there you have it, a very dynamic backdrop made purely by placing effects onto a plane. This is only one way you could take it, and the possibilities are endless. Planes can also be useful for overlaying effects above your footage, independently of your media. This makes it really easy to apply an effect to your video as a whole, and make quick adjustments to it later. In our Compositing 101 video, we added lens flares to our edit using effects applied to a plane, link in the description. Basically, for that one we created a black plane, added a lens flare effect to our video, and set the plane's blend mode to screen. In this video, we'll change things up a little bit, and apply a film grain effect to our whole edit. Now, the best way to apply a film grain effect to your whole edit is to create a neutral gray plane. So let's create a new plane and name it gray plane. And we'll click this gray square here to make sure that it's perfectly neutral gray. Next, let's place it on our timeline above our other clips and add a film grain effect. And then to see our image below, let's go to our clips properties and change the blend mode to overlay. There we go. Let's select a preset that's easier to see, like 35 millimeter heavy. And let's try out a more monochrome grain by checking the monochrome box. And let's dial down the grain strength a bit. There we go. We've now got a film grain look on our entire edit that we can tweak instead of needing to tweak the settings for individual clips. Sometimes it's helpful to add black bars to your video to see how it looks like in different aspect ratios. We do have the option to change the aspect ratio right here by clicking the gear icon and changing the dimensions from here. But if you want to create black bars instead, you could do so with a plane. What we'll need to do this time is create a transparent plane. To create a new plane, let's hit Ctrl Alt N on Windows or Option Command N on Mac, and then select the transparent button and make sure that the plane is matched to our timeline in size. Let's drag our plane into our timeline above everything else, and look for the letterbox effect and drag that into our transparent plane. From there, let's go into the controls panel and find our letterbox effect, where we can select from several different aspect ratios, select from even more presets, and even change the color of our letterboxing if we want to. So that's a look at a few neat things that you can do with planes in Filmora Pro. Now you should be familiar with generating shapes, creating backdrops, and overlaying effects and letterboxing all using planes and built-in effects. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more tutorials on how you can take your editing to the next level. There's no limit to what you can make.